Hey guys, Amy Star Allen here. And in this video today, I'm just going to do a quick tutorial based on a question that I just got from somebody asking me how I made my Facebook profile cover. <clears throat> this one that you're looking at right here. And so I told him I would just make a quick tutorial to show him how I did it. It's actually very easy. I did it in Canva using a template. So it's very, very, very simple process. So all I'm going to do is just walk you through that process real quick. And I'll just start out by saying that this is a really valuable piece of real estate that you have on the internet. If you are on Facebook, you have the ability to create a profile cover and you can put anything that you want on here, but it's a big chunk. It's like the biggest piece of Facebook that you can possibly put anything on and it's hundred percent free. So you can put anything that you want here. So, I change mine up from time to time. Sometimes it's just a picture um, with no text or anything else on it. But I also like to use it to share different things that I've created or you know, different resources that I've created for my business as well, which is what I'm doing right here. So this is a really good opportunity to use this piece of real estate to just get your message in front of more people. So let me show you real quick how I did this. So here it is in, in Canva. This is what it looks like before I uploaded it onto Facebook. Facebook kind of crops it. This is the, the dimensions that a Facebook cover is made in, but you just have to kind of keep everything in the middle and then because Facebook kind of crops it and it looks a little bit different on a phone than it does on a computer. So you'll have to, you know, you'll have to look at it in both places once you finish to make sure that it looks good in both places. But as you can see, so I'm in, I'm in my actual document in Canva, but you can see when it's pulled up, you can see all these other templates over here. So like if I wanted to make another one, I could literally just click on any of these and it'll just add it over here. And, or like if I go add page, let's say like I wanna do this one, it just puts it over here. And then I can just really easily just change out this picture with mine. If I come over to my uploads, I can just take like, you know, one of my pictures and slide it over to where hers is and stretch it out however I want it to look. And so forth. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do that. But there are a lot of different uh, templates that you can use inside of Canva. So when you log into Canva, now I have a pro account and I will leave a link to Canva below this video so that if you don't have a Canva account yet, you can get one set up. I have the pro account, so it's only like $12 a month or something like that. And I recommend it. It just gives you the opportunity to just have all of the features of Canva and nothing, nothing is left out. If you get the free account, you can still do a lot of what I'm going to show you today, but there will be some features that you will not have. For example, one of the things that I always do with my images or that I often do is I remove the background and I don't think that you can do that with the free account. So stuff like that, you won't have access to as many templates and so forth. So it's up to you, but you can do what I'm going to do with a free account if you want to. It'll just be a little, um, a little bit more limited. What I do is when I want to create a specific thing, like let's say I know I want to create a Facebook timeline cover, I would just put Facebook and it'll pull up all the Facebook stuff and I'll just click on covers, right? So it's going to pull up all the Facebook cover templates and you'll see there's tons of them. And I'm not even really sure exactly which one I used because I usually change stuff a little bit, but I saw one up here that looked kind of like mine like this one. So let's say I want to use this one. And if I click on that, it's going to show me other ones that are similar in some way as well. But if I'm good with this one, I can just say customize this template and then it's just going to pull it up in here for me. And then all I do is I go ahead and I put my own colors in here. So if I click on this part, you'll see it pulls up these, co these colors, right? And you'll see on mine that I have different colors, but a lot of times when I choose a template in Canva, it doesn't have my brand colors on it, but it's really easy to change it out. So for example, with this one, I would just click on a color and I have all my brand colors in here. So I could just easily um, pick other colors that I wanna have in there. And then I would do the same with these colors down here.
And then, let's see, what does mine say? So mine says, what type of digital business is right for you? I'm actually going to change this color too. To this, and then I'm going to say, what type of... And you can change the size of this. I'm going to change the color to white. I'm going to get rid of this and this. And I'm going to change out this picture with my picture. Okay, so when you slide a picture into where there's already one in a frame, it'll automatically just put it in there. But like, you know, you'll see that I have mine much bigger in here. So then all you do is you click on the picture and then you can make it as big as you want and move it around so that it's the dimensions that you want inside of the inside of that frame. And then when I click away from it, it just shows it there. So let's see how that compares. That's about the same, right, as that. And then I say take the quiz and I have my website here. And so on these, te like I, I just pasted this in here, but like, so a lot of times the templates are already going to have like a button and stuff on it. So you'll see, I put this button here that says click here, but if you like the button that comes on it, you can just use the button that it has. It's up to you. I'll show you how to do both. So in my case, I have the button over here. So I would just move this if I want the button over here. And then I can um, go to position to move the, that square uh, up to the front and change it to the right color and change the text to say, click here. And I want that to be white. I have it all kind of off to the side there and I'll show you how to do that. <clears throat> When I put my website on there. And then this is just an element and this is just an element. So like if I want to add something like this or this, I'll show you how to do that. I'm going to get rid of these because I already added them myself. And so if I come um, under elements and I put like, I think I just put quiz. And there, see right there, it has that thing. That's the exact same thing I have on mine. I'm going to change the color to white. Make it smaller. Anyway, so you can play around with it. And then instead of this button, I created my own in Elements. So I just said, click here. Oh, I think that one I used looked a little different. Yeah. I just click on graphics and then I go find. That's the one. Let me get rid of that one. I'll get rid of this one. And then what did I do? Mine's just white. So I'll just make it white. Then I can resize it and move it around however I want. And that's it. So I know it's not the exact same template that I used last time, but it's close. And um, I, I really just wanted to show you how easy it is to use a template in Canva to quickly create whatever you want. And then when you're done, all you do is click share and then you're going to save it hit click download and you'll save it to your computer and then upload it to Facebook. And like I said, once you upload it to Facebook, you'll see it's a little bit more cropped. So you have to make sure that you put all of your text that you want people to be able to see and click on and stuff. You want to keep it kind of in the middle of this image like I have here because Facebook is going to crop off the bottom and the top. 
So you're not really even going to see the bottom and the top on Facebook. You're going to see more of it on your phone than you will on a computer, but it's still going to crop it. So just keep that in mind. And then as far as having this button be clickable, it's not actually a clickable button. When you put your picture on Facebook, all this is is an image. But when someone clicks on it anywhere on the picture, but I just have this to let them know that they can click on it. So when they click on it, they're really just clicking on the picture. And then it takes them to the description of the picture. And I just say, what type of digital business is right for you? Take the quiz. And I have a link to the actual quiz right here. So when they click this button on my Facebook profile cover, it takes them to the description that you're seeing here. So when you upload this, it's going to give you the opportunity to put in a description. You'll click edit right here and you'll put in your description. And then when someone clicks on this link, it's going to take them to my quiz where they can click and actually take the quiz. So that's all this is. It's just part of the image, but the image itself, when it's a timeline cover on Facebook is clickable in the sense where when they click on it, it'll take them to the description and you can have your link in the description. So that's how I created my Facebook timeline cover. And again, if you just search Facebook covers, you're going to get a gazillion templates to choose from inside of Canva. And they're all really different. And, you know, some of them, you can have your picture on them and some of them don't have a picture, but they're all completely editable. So even if you choose one that doesn't have a picture on it and you want to put a picture on it, you can do that. Um, let me show you real quick also how to remove a background in case you were wanting to make, to use one like that. So let's say I want to use this one. So I'm, you know, you, again, you can come into each of these elements and change the colors however you want, right? Just like I just showed you. But really what I want to show you is if you want to use an image with no background. So let's say I want to put one of my pictures in here. And you can, you can just drag pictures into Canva or, or click upload files and get them from your computer, whatever's easiest for you. But like, let's say I want to put this picture in here. Whoops. But I want to get rid of the background. Okay, so I don't want like this window in the background or whatever. So I would just click on it click edit image, background remover, and it'll automatically just remove the background for me, which I love. And I use this all the time. I do it for my YouTube thumbnails, which by the way, I use templates like this to create YouTube thumbnails as well. Same exact process. So do you see how it removed the background for me from the picture? So super easy to do in Canva. And um, like I said, I do it all the time. And then like, there's other things that you can do, like you can use, if you click edit image, it's going to give you like filters that you can use. If I want to make it like funky or all, you know, I like these photogenic ones. Sometimes they have like, you know, warm or polar or aura, you know, you can make it lighter, all these different things. So there's so much that you can do in Canva, but I almost always, everything that I create, almost everything that I create, I do with a template. You know, this was um, a quote that I put on social media today. Same thing. I just grabbed a, an Instagram post template. And then all I did, I really didn't change anything except I put my own quote in here. I changed out my name, changed out my colors, and then I just dragged one of my pictures in here. But you'll see like all these other Instagram templates in here. So super easy to make cool Instagram posts or whatever. And if I wanted to change out this picture, again, I could just take one of my other pictures and drag it in and then adjust it the same exact way that I just showed you. And it's super easy. So Canva just makes it easy to create all kinds of cool stuff using templates. Anyway, that's it. That's what I have for you today. So I hope this has been helpful. If you have any other questions, please let me know. And if you want to set up a Canva account for yourself, like I said, I'll leave a link below this video. I'm happy to help and I'll see you in the next video.